Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing one of the beers that I've had before. Absolutely hated it. So, I'm reviewing Duval. Now I've just looked on ratebeer.com. You can see that's better. I've just looked on ratebeer.com and it's got a fantastic 3.79 out of 5. From 4,363 ratings. Now that, for an aggregate site, that is astonishing, you know. And uh, it's obviously better than what I think it is. So, we'll see. It's just splattered down the back of my blooming TV, but hey -oh. So... Um, in colour, um, it looks like, it looks like, um, a lager the way it is. Hazy, um, straw coloured, big white head, lots of carbonation, lots of lacing. Oh. Now, I'll be honest, this to me is as a drink that I'm not keen on as very similar to Ho Garden and I nearly picked up Ho Garden tonight but it was the big bottle and I'm not paying £2.75 for a big bottle uh, of Ho Garden I get it cheaper for about one fifty, maybe, maybe so um, but obviously so bottle conditioned four generations of the Morg Mort Gat family are brought together pills and malts, bohemian hops and a unique yeast strain to create this intense, aromatic and beguiling ale. Beguiling? This Belgian favourite is best enjoyed chilled with discerning friends or good looking strangers. Okay, it's a bit weird. Right. So. Still waiting for it to... So the first review says four out of five. It betrays your expectation in a curious way. The taste is caramel like, it's neither too sweet nor too dry. It goes well with any kind of cuisine. It goes well even with miso taste, whatever that is. It will have thick bubble once it has warm once it once it was warmed, it should be chilled nicely. Another one, 3.9. Poured slightly cloudy and pale, with a big white head. Smells slightly boozy. No shit. <clears throat> Citrus and yeasty. Quite hoppy, smooth mouthfeel for the level of carbonation. Some pineapple and hint of banana. Alcohol well hidden. Dangerously drinkable. Really good. Well, and here's a slightly different review. 2.9 out of 5, so it's a bit worse. Seems I never rated this classic beer. Clear, pale, golden pour, with very huge, foamy, stable white head. Mostly malty aroma, not much more. Taste is mild, bitter and light, soury, but not citric. Firm carbonation. It's a very well-known and broadly appreciated beer, but it's actually not a very special brew. So... Obviously, people have got their um, opinions, as we all have on every beer we drink. Eight and a half percent, so it's got some, it's got some wallet behind it. All right, definitely malty aroma, definitely yeast in that aroma as well. Look at that for an ad. <laughs> So here it goes. <clears throat> See, I went to Asda tonight to. Um, we'd, we'd just been out to pick a new car seat up for the little fella, and uh, went went to Asda, and uh, the one in West Bridgeford. Massive range of beers uh, in cans. N no bottled beers that I hadn't had before, or reviewed before. But a lot of canned real ales. So the bigger Asda's are very interesting. Uh, lots of 
cans there all around the two pound range and a lot of them on the four for six pound deal one pound fifty i mean i was going to do a hundred pound shop at somewhere like ocado to you know get the stock levels back up but uh asda you know that price it's it's worth a, a gamble but i didn't know somebody in asda who's got a credit a card send them in get all the ones i want give them the cash and then get 10 percent discount yeah i don't so my son does work for Sainsbury's still, yeah, so that's a good thing. But uh, their, their range is absolutely dire. Need I say more? Although there's a lot of new uh, beers coming to Sainsbury's, because a friend of mine who's, who does all the um, range reviews, uh, Simon, um, he's told me that uh, there's going to be a load of new beers coming in, so that's, that's good news. Good news for people who shop at Sainsbury's. Because you damn well need some new beers there. It needs a major refresh. So. Oh yeah. Hint of banana in the background. Definitely. Definitely caramel. And wow. How does that bloke on one of them reviews say you can't taste the alcohol? It's the first thing you notice. Eight and a half percent. You know. You. You're going to taste alcohol there. So, surprisingly, the last time I tasted this, it tasted absolutely disgusting. Didn't like it one bit. But with doing these beer reviews and tasting beers that are out of my comfort zone, uh, I've come to appreciate and my taste buds have uh, been able to take more diverse beers because this don't taste too bad at all actually. So you know that's uh, that's definitely got a twang to it you know yeah yeah definitely you know you're tasting something a bit different. Still good carbonation there very hazy but I don't care for you know don't bother me hazy don't. Bottle conditioned, so like a lot of these bottle conditioned beers, you want it at a bit of a lower, um, a bit of a lower, you know, straight from a fridge really, chilled. It stops it exploding like it just did to me there, yeah. But I've just bought mine from Asda and uh, I did a review straight away. It's, it's jumped to the top of the review pile, primarily to get it out of the way, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad at all actually. Um, Nice alcohol content, loving that. Definitely tell it's a Belgian beer. They've all got that same sort of taste, haven't they? You know, and but it's nice. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. So, taste buds have changed. You know, it's uh, interesting. But it's not a top ten beer. It's nice and got great strength. I like a strong beer, so you know that's that that ticks the boxes there. Uh, Taste-wise, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's as it's not a King Goblin, you know, anywhere near that. I can't taste different complexities in the taste, but um, for a Belgian offering, it's it's really nice. Um, and one of these days, when next time little bring out their six pack of Belgian ales for ten or twelve quid, whatever it is. And they're all strong, all different, all strong beers. I will all buy that. And uh, <clears throat> just for the sake of trying, you know, newbies. Belgian Golden Ale. So, yeah. 1871, the brewery. You know, that's a, it's got a good length of time on it. Mm. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, Impressed by the taste this time. Amazing how, you know, because a mate of mine bought me three bottles, oh God, for a birthday. I think it was my 40th actually, so a bit about nine years, uh, nine years, <clears throat> seven years ago. And, uh, yeah, that was a while back now, brother neck. And, uh, yeah, I, he bought me Duval and two other Belgian males. And I wasn't really impressed with the Duval then. But obviously... 
over the years, you know, uh, things change and uh, all for the better, I suppose. Right. So last night I did um, did a live review. Uh, it felt very strange talking to the camera. And I'm talking to, obviously, to, to a camcorder camera here. But talking to my phone, seeing my phone, and then seeing people interact, saying, hello, Billy, and all this. Um, or oh, Raggy, as obviously it's Raggy's beers. Um, yeah, it was uh, different. And yet, for some strange reason, the live uh, review got a lot more views than standard reviews. So that's uh, interesting. Um I may do one or two per week, you know, depending. Uh, just to give it a go, get me, build me confidence up. And in future, though, I'll have to have a... Because I use my phone to read off other reviews. It can get a bit of info about the beer. Obviously, you can't do that if you're using your phone as a, as the camera. Uh, but, yeah, very interesting. So, a game changer, a beer that I absolutely did not like uh, the last time I tried it, uh, drank some rancid, you know, that was my total feelings towards it. Um, today, poured it, uh, nice, not a bad aroma off the top, oh, so it was fantastic, but uh, hazy, golden hazy colour, um, Big white head on it, very strong alcohol taste, malt, caramel, banana, um, not a top 10 beer, no, but a good beer, um, out of 5, ooh, 4.4 out of 5, that was actually a lot more better than I thought it was going to be, just goes to show you, sometimes, you know, it might just be the fact that your taste buds aren't um, trained at that point. I'll give you an, an, an instance. Um, first time I drank red wine, I thought it was disgusting. Bloody vinegar. Same with white wine. And then once I started having to go, I had a couple of bottle, glasses of uh, rosé. I liked rosé. And uh, Grey Fox rosé, probably the best rosé in the world. Um, then I moved on to white wines. And and again, you know, some tasted like vinegar, some tasted okay. Started off with the fruitier wines and then moved to the drier wines and then jumped to red uh, wine. And again, started off with the more introductory lines like Blossom Hill and then moved to, you know, nowadays I can drink virtually any wine. Um, and so, so, you know, your palate is tra gets trained for that. And, uh, you know, people who say, ah, oh, I can't drink wine, it tastes like vinegar. It does to everybody, I suppose. You know, uh, well, a lot of people, I would have thought. But uh, and nowadays, I can drink that and it tastes actually tastes quite nice. And bloody strong as well. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.